So thank you all very much uh, for coming to our Saturday uh, afternoon uh, live broadcast here uh, in the library. Uh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, right? Tomorrow uh, is New Year's Eve, and you are still here. Why, right? You should you should not be. You know, normal people do not come to the library on a Saturday afternoon to listen to, you know, someone you know to listen to lectures. Or you can, you can stay at home, right, and watch the live broadcast. But you are here, right? Okay, so wonderful. I'm very grateful that you are here. Um, we are talking today uh, about the film uh, La La Land. Uh, this is not uh, this is not a standalone live broadcast. Uh, we have talked uh, over the past few weeks uh, about music and English. Uh, so I just want to uh, say it again. I said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, learning English uh, can be very fun and exciting. Uh, it can be very beneficial, uh, intellectual. Uh, it can also be uh, very, I think, emotionally fulfilling uh, when you do it using music. Okay, so uh, engage yourself in the world of learning English through music uh, and through film. Uh, I'm sure that there's, uh, there's a lot uh, that this genre, this way of learning, can offer you. Now, for two weeks, we talked about the film Dream Girls. Okay, Dream Girls uh, was released uh, in the year 2006. Uh, it was a winter film uh, released in December. Uh, in 2006. And I remember watching the film uh, when I was in high school. So you know how old I am. I remember watching it when I was in high school, uh, in the theater, alone, sometime around Christmas. Uh, we've talked about the film, uh, and we've talked about uh, how it's about dreams, about girls growing up, uh, about race, and about gender. Now, La La Land uh, is an extension. We're going to compare uh, this film with Dream Girls. It was released. Uh, in 2016, also during winter time, also in December, also for Christmas time, in time for Christmas. And I also went to the theater to watch it. And, uh, it's a bit different now. I went with my fiance at the time. Uh, we went to watch La La Land in winter. So 10 years later, a new film, uh, also about dreams uh, in America, uh, also about uh, art and music. So I want to start. Uh, all of us here, I want everyone to start with this question in mind. I think it's a perfect time to ask this question. Uh, the question is not, uh, what is your dream? Because I've asked this before. I think it's, it's, a, it, it's a question all of us should think about. Let's start with a different question today. Let me ask you this. So, what is art to you? What is art? When you, when, when you hear the word art, what comes to your mind? Anyone want to want to start when you hear the word art? Anyone? What comes to your mind when you when you hear the word art, or in Chinese, right? So what do you, what do you, what do you think? Special, natural, naturally special culture. Culture, very good. So so in other words, uh, there is something unique about art, right? There is something uh, that is uh, that is. <coughs> a feature of the culture, right? It comes from the culture, and different cultures have different kinds of art, right? Okay, very good. Uh, what kind of art comes to mind? What is your first image of art when it, when, when it comes to your mind? What is the first image of art that comes to your mind? Whoever is watching the live broadcast, please answer me. Then I'm paid off. Yeah. What what image of art comes to mind? It's very. It's, it, have you thought about this question? Has everyone anyone ever asked you this question? Yes. Uh, colorful and full of passion. Very good. Colorful and full of passion. So it it, it is a feeling. Or <coughs> some some adjectives come to mind. So passion, very good. Uh, colorful. Uh, do does anyone think of a specific work of art? Does anyone think of a specific work? Like when you think of uh, art, you think of a, a famous painting 
or a famous sculpture? Anyone? 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 Yes? Mona. So you Mona. think of the Mona Lisa, yes. Uh, Mona Lisa, no? No, Mona's lady. I'm sorry, Monet, okay, excuse me, yes, Monet, yes, yes, Monet, Monet, yeah, Monet's, yeah, uh, water lilies, Monet paint water lilies, yes, I think, I believe he did, yes, very good, so, uh, impressionist art, right, impressionist artwork, okay? Mm, uh, Van Gogh's painting, Shinko. Very good, Starry Night, right, Starry Night, Van Gogh, so famous paintings, when you think about artwork, right, it's a very good example, because um, in the film La La Land, we have a famous song called City of Stars, right, City of Stars. Uh, stars are very often um, represented uh, in, in, uh, in films uh, and, in, uh, and in literature, yes, uh, and, and in art in general. Okay, so, uh, but when you, when you think about art, when art comes to your mind, uh, what is the feeling you get? What comes to your mind? What is your first impression? Any artists here? Anyone who's drawn a painting before? Like I'm, I'm obviously not an artist. Yeah. Does anyone like to draw? Very good. So you're, you, you like. To, so you're an artist, right? You like to draw. Anyone write a poem before? Poem. Very good. Anyone uh, who has who has um, who has who performs a musical instrument? Very good, right? So, 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 so we all have some connections to art. Anyone who has ever been to a movie theater, right? You have experienced art uh, in some form, right? Now, the the, the question that La La Land tries to to answer uh, is, uh, what is art first of all, uh, and what are the ideals of art, and how does art connect with dreams? Okay, that is a big question uh, that La La Land tries to answer, tries to talk about. So, uh, at the heart of the film, there are two people, right? There are, there are two characters, two main characters uh, who, who we meet at the beginning of the film. Uh, the two characters are named Mia and Sebastian, right? Mia and Sebastian. Who's watched the film before? Okay, so most of you have, right? Okay, so I hope that after today, go home, you know, New Year's Eve, right? Watch La La Land, right? It will make you feel, okay, don't watch La La Land, it'll make you feel sad. Okay. Uh, watch a film that you love. Anyway, but, but, but after the New Year, you're going to watch La La Land. Okay, so Mia is played by Emma Stone, right? Um, Academy Award performance right, for this role. Mia will we'll watch her, one of her, um, I think, award-winning scenes audition uh, later today but uh, so she wants to be an actress okay this is what she wants in the film uh, Mia wants to uh, become famous right anyone else have this dream before in your life anyone dream about it no no one no one dreams about it everyone sit in the movie theater and you look at the screen and hmm, I wish that were me Yes? Yeah, yeah, I think it's very normal. I think it's very, very normal. So, uh, Mia wants to be an actress. She wants fame. Right? She wants to be famous. Uh, and she wants fortune. Right? She wants, she, her ideal, her dream in art is to be famous, to be well known. She loves films. So she loves the, the art form of films. She wants to perform in films okay? or television. Uh, films, babe. Uh, and she succeeds in the end. So this is one kind of art, one kind of dream. Okay. Ryan Gosling, very handsome man, right? Uh, Ryan Gosling, uh, he is also an artist. Okay. Uh, he is a pianist. He plays the piano. He's a he, and and he uh, he is a jazz enthusiast. So he wants to uh, open a jazz club. Okay. This is what he wants. So as an artist, uh, he is not that, that keen. He doesn't really care that much uh, if he is very, very famous or if he is very, very well-known. Uh, excuse me, very rich. Yeah, famous is the same as well-known. So it doesn't matter to him that much. What he cares about, uh, what uh, Sebastian cares about, is continuing this, uh, this tradition of art, of jazz. Okay? This particular art form 
He cares about preserving this art form. He cares about uh, you know, being a traditionalist so that this tradition can continue. All right? So we have two different ideals of art in the film. Okay? We have two kinds of dreamers, two kinds of art forms, and two kinds of ideals for dream for, for art. Okay, two dreams of art. Now, uh, now I'll ask you again. So now that I've said this, so on, so now that I've said this, let me ask you again. Uh, what is your idea of art? What is your idea? Of, everyone cares about some kind of art. Okay, unless you're, I think most humans care about some kind of art. Okay, maybe you like film, a certain kind of film. Maybe you like music, a certain kind of music. Maybe you like painting, maybe you like drama. I don't care. Okay, think about this in your mind. The, the kind of art that you care about. And then ask yourself, what, what, do you, uh, what do you care about? And what do you like? What is your ideal for this art? All right, everyone have an answer? Yes? So you care that art has has a feature, so, a kusa, right? So, so that it makes uh, that it's special in its way, that it is unique in a, in a certain way. So, do you like tradition in art, or do you like changes? Uh, if painting. Tradition. Yes, you like traditional uh, new painting. Music. I, I like new. You like new music. Very good. So there are all kinds of different possibilities, right? Everyone has to think about this question as we watch the film La La Land, right? Uh, and what happens when these two ideals come together? What happens when they meet? What happens when they have to confront some problems together? What happens to their relationship? Okay, so this is uh, one way, I think, to watch the film, uh, to watch it as ideals of uh, art, and dreams of art coming together. This is one way. Of course, it's also a beautiful love story. You can read it as, as, as a love story. But I think for some people who don't like the film, for some people who think, hmm, it's boring, uh, it's because they see it as just a love story. right? They see it as, uh, it's just a story between a man uh, and a woman. They, they meet, they don't get along, and then they get along, and then they break up, and then things happen. right? And if you see it as just a film uh, about, uh, about art, uh, uh, if you, as, as about love, romantic love, uh, it's beautiful, but I think you, you miss a lot. I think you miss the, the, the ideals of art uh, and dreams that are built into the film. Okay, so uh, the next question uh, that everyone should think of, everyone now, everyone, or everyone, everyone should think about, uh, as, we are, as we are watching the film, this opening is, uh, what does it feel like to be a dreamer? What does it feel like to be a dreamer? Particularly, particularly, what does it feel like to be a dreamer in a big city? In a big city. Have you ever been in a city? Everyone been in a city, right? Taipei city, right? Yeah. Oh, tell me. Everyone has been in a city, right? You know what it feels like, right? Now, uh, the question uh, that we should think about uh, we've talked about the art part, now we're talking about this experience of dreamers. I wonder if you've ever uh, had this experience uh, when you are in a, a city with a lot of people, right? a lot of people, everyone, you know, you know, a lot of activity, you know, every, everyone is excited about something, maybe going somewhere, right? Maybe in Taipei main station, right? Uh, or maybe uh, at the countdown, uh, in in uh, Taipei one at Taipei one hundred and one, uh, whatever. But uh, have you had this experience uh, when you are in a city surrounded by people, but you feel very lonely? Know this feeling? No, just yes, yes. There's this feeling that we get. Uh, you are surrounded by people, but you still feel very lonely. You know this feeling? Maybe you don't. Maybe right? You pull out your cell phone and then you cannot feel so lonely. Maybe, maybe. But uh, the experience of the city uh, is a very modern feeling. The, 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 the experience of the city did not exist 
uh, for the majority uh, of human experience. Okay, this is a very recent idea, this modern city. The film La La Land uh, is about the city. That's why it's called La La Land. Why is it called La La Land? Why, 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 what is it called? Why is it called La La Land? Uh, the translation uh, in Chinese that we have, Yue Yue Ai, it focuses on the music and the love, right? And the relationship. But the film is called La La Land in English. Uh, there's a lot to talk about in this title. Uh, most importantly, uh, we understand if you are uh, an American or if you understand the, the, the culture, LA is the city in which it is set. It is set in LA. What does LA stand for? Very good, it stands for Los Angeles, the city of angels, right? The city of angels, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Uh, and it is a city um, where there are a lot of Asians, right? Okay, but that, that's not the point. Uh, it is a city of dreams, let's put it that way. Uh, it is close to Hollywood, right? So it's in California. This is a real location. Uh, and, and in many ways, uh, the city feels very much like how it's presented in the film. If you go to Los Angeles, you feel this. It is very big, you feel lonely, there are a lot of people sometimes. It's not particularly beautiful. Okay, it's not an old European town, for instance. If you go to uh, the city of London, if you go to the city of, of Prague, if you go to the city of Venice, if you go to Rome, these are very old cities. Okay, and, and it feels very different. If, uh, if you go to the city of New York, even, it feels a lot more crowded. La La Land is different. Okay? The city of, of LA feels a little bit strange. It, feels, it doesn't feel like Taipei City. It feels big and empty, but there's a lot of people. Um, and it is a place of dreams. Okay? There's this idea that it's a place of dreams. Um, in the film, we see this sort of purple sky. Right? It's a very beautiful scene, the purple. Uh, and that purple is, is, uh, is real. You really do see this in LA. There are some locations Right, like the Griffith Observatory, where they go, uh, the movie theaters, uh, or, or the, the, the lots they go to, this is all there in California, in LA. La La Land uh, also means a fantasy land, right? La La Land, right? It also means that the world is not real. It, it's, it's a created reality, right? It's a, it is a fantasy. Uh, and uh, there's something that is not very real about the film, if you've watched it before. There is a beautiful scene uh, where they watch a film, the film, something goes wrong in the theater, so they drive to the Griffith Observatory. Yeah, Griffith, yeah, I can't pronounce it. Griffith Observatory. And then they, they suddenly, they're dancing in the, in the stars, right? There's this beautiful scene. Uh, and, and therefore, it's not real. It's an idea, right? It is an ideal. It is an ideal uh, of dreams. Okay, so, the experience of going to LA, the experience of going, have you ever been abroad? Going to Japan, right? Have you ever been to Japan maybe, or, or Hong Kong? Tokyo. Or Tokyo, yes, very good. Uh, the point is not going there, the point is coming back. Have you ever had the experience when you come back, you fly to Taoyuan Airport, and then you need to drive. Well, maybe you take the MRT now, but in the past you need to drive, right? You need to drive from the airport into the city. Come back to Xinjiang, maybe if you live here. Or, or go to Taipei, you need to, you need to enter into the city, okay? And this is a very strange experience, driving into the city. This driving experience is very much uh, a, a city experience, driving in, this road trip experience. Uh, a lot of uh, literature has been written about this, about American road trips. In Taiwan, there are not that many big road trips, right? Uh, but in America, you can drive these long road trips, the, the, the experience of driving on the freeway uh, and entering into a new city. Okay, that is uh, a, a very important image uh, here uh, in the film, uh, and it's also an important image to keep in mind. So it all starts with driving into the city. Okay, this is this is uh, how La La Land begins. Okay, so. Um, Yes. So we'll, we'll play the opening of the film then. So, uh, the experience of watching the film, 
should feel a little bit old. It should feel a little bit old because this is the way they wanted to present it. The La La Land is not real. Right? It's a constructive reality about dreams and art. Uh, and it should feel a little bit familiar to us. But it should also feel kind of idealized. Right? It's, a, it's an ideal sort of world. I said that uh, I'm in a good mood today because the weather today is very nice, right? It is a sunny day. It feels like LA for some reason, uh, well, the, at least when I visited LA, it feels like it. it's sunny. Uh, uh, and uh, in California, it's always sunny. It, it rains maybe one day uh, and it doesn't snow. Right? So uh, in California, every day is another day of sun. You wake up and the sun is beautiful. You wake up, the sun is beautiful. Maybe you went through a terrible day, right? Maybe your, your previous day was absolutely horrible. But you go to bed, you wake up, and it's another day of sun. Not Taipei, right? It's not Taipei, right? You wake up, oh, another day of rain, right? Oh, another gloomy day. Oh, Taipei, right? Uh, and another day of sun that is completely different. Okay, so let's... Uh, so CinemaScope, this, is, this, this kind of presentation, this widescreen CinemaScope, this is an, uh, uh, it goes back to older kinds of, it feels like an older kind of film. Uh, uh, you mentioned uh, colorful, I think two mentioned uh, uh, colorful, right? Uh, the, look at how the film begins. Yeah, it feels a little bit dark, right? It's, 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 you see this, this black and white. But then, you get this, 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 See, downtown Los Angeles, right? It tells us at the very beginning it's downtown Los Angeles. This is Hua Shi Hong, this is Shi Hong, another day of sun. Right? Okay. Uh, but the point I want to make here is that the entire first scene is shot in one take. Normally in films we cut, right? You can cut and then jump and then you can cut. This is one single take. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing uh, when, we, when we watch this. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to watch, we're going to take a short break, uh, and then we will read the lyrics together. Okay, I want to read with you, um, to do something different. Right? Sometimes we talk, and we talk, but when you see the page, like, in, 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 it's, it's, it feels different. <laughs> like a musical. Uh, a lot of musicals open with, with a big number, a big dance number that, that you can feel excited uh, about. Yeah. Uh, not all musicals do, uh, but uh, many do. That, that there's this opening uh, and it feels very exciting uh, and you, you get excited for the story that is going to be told. It sets up the world uh, for us. Okay, so we're going to take a break, okay, five minutes. Okay. Everyone think about what you just watched. Now, when we come back, we will read 
uh, the lyrics to Another Day of Sun, uh, and then we will watch this opening again, right? And then we will watch our audition. Okay, let's take a break. Okay. 